my name is Kat and this is my vegan experiment. Welcome to the newest series on this channel, which is Instructor Chats, where I, a scuba diving instructor from Patty, talks to you about some of the most common questions I've received and helps you on your diving journey. So let's get into it. This week, I want to be talking about what to expect from your first diving course. So this is another one for diving for newbies. So if you're a newbie diver, this is what to expect from your open water course. diving instructor now for about four five years I can't do the math since 2012 I have taught over 300 400 students and have over a thousand dives under my belt so I do have some experience in this topic I have taught a lot of open water courses which in patty that's the first level of diving now this is going to be predominantly uh, discussing the paddy open water course however if you do any beginner level diving courses in other organizations there will be some similarities and overlap so keep watching this video because you might still get some helpful tips and tricks what should you expect from your open water course or your first level diving course to start off with after this open water course what you are going to be able to do is be certified to dive to 18 meters, dive with a buddy, so not with an instructor or dive master, and to kind of enjoy the beauty of the underwater world. Now, to get to this point, there is a lot of theory and practical work that you're going to have to do to make sure you are prepared just in case there are some uh, emergencies that arise just in case there's some unknown conditions and yeah just to make sure that you are safe scuba diving is one of the safest sports in the world if it's done properly so I'm going to help you out how to make sure that you're doing it properly so the first step of any open water course of course is the theory Woo! There are typically two options. You can pick to do an online e-learning type of option, or then you can do an in-class option. Typically, online e-learning is cheaper. However, I will always recommend going into the classroom and actually spending time with your instructor. Because if you have any questions, any concerns, you can address them right there and then, and the instructor is going to be very knowledgeable and will help you out to cover any of the gaps in your knowledge. So the theory in the open water course, there's five chapters and you go through them bit by bit. Now I like to say uh, the contents, what you're going to be learning is very easy. There's going to be some basic math, so um, relationship between pressure, density, and volume. There is going to be some kind of common sense of how you should get ready, what kind of state you should be in, uh, so on and so forth. It is relatively simple, however, remember, if you hadn't have read it in this book, or if the instructor hadn't have told you, you probably wouldn't have thought of it yourself. So even if you're reading it and going, oh, this is so boring, it's so basic, it's important for you to know, even if it just stays somewhere in the back of your mind. So please take the time to read through the textbooks and consider these pressure volume density relationship because it's going to affect your body, your equipment, and everything around you. In the theory, you cover this physics of diving a little bit. You learn a little bit about your equipment, how to set it up, what equipment you're going to be using, and just little basics of how it works. You're going to also be learning about your own body. What's going to be happening to your body when you go underwater? What's going to happen in terms of the air that you're breathing, the different pressures, how that changes at depth. So it's very important that you take the time and learn it. Now, if you have an option of doing a computer only, so a dive computer only course, or then a tables course, I would recommend doing the tables because it just helps your brain understand so much better of why you need to stick to the dive limits that your computer is telling you to. 
if you are doing the dive computer one, take a moment and ask your instructor, hey, could you explain the old school dive tables? Uh, because that's going to really help you just understand better what's going on and respect your computer more. So that is one of my big tips. Make sure to check out the dive tables and ask for the instructor to explain those to you. After the theory part, you're going to be moving on to the uh, pool session. So this is confined water and you have, I believe, five dives you have to do in confined water. This is the perfect opportunity for you to get familiar with your equipment, make sure you have the right size wetsuit, the right size BCD, that you get comfortable breathing underwater, and of course complete your skills. So I have made a another video which you can check out up there and this is about some of the most common fears people have uh, when they're starting to dive so I highly recommend checking that out if you are a little bit apprehensive about the actually getting into the water part uh, right before you actually do the skills underwater there is some swimming tests to make sure that you are comfortable enough in the water so for the paddy open water you have to swim 200 meters um, not timed in any style you want and tread water for 10 minutes now this is not too difficult so you're going to be okay remember there is no time limit you're not racing so don't be stressed about what the other people in your group are doing and just make sure you can swim those 200 meters and tread that water once you're in the water, you are going to be doing a kind of call and response with your instructor. Your instructor is going to ask you, are you okay? And then they're going to demonstrate a skill. So for example, uh, we're going to be doing the partial mask clear. So fill up your mask a little bit, press the top, look up and exhale through your nose. They are going to explain this on the surface when they can use speech and then underwater through clear hand signals. If you're unsure about anything, just signal to your instructor and they will most likely do it again. Once you do this call and response, make sure that you just do it one at a time. Instructor does it and then they will tell each of you guys in your group, whether it's two or six or eight, how many um, whose turn it is to go next. So just wait your turn patiently because it is very important for the instructor to have full attention to whoever is actually doing the skill at the time just in case that person feels some discomfort or potentially anxiety or panic. So just take your time, breathe in that regulator and just enjoy being underwater. You don't only have underwater skills, you're also going to have some surface flexible skills. So you're going to learn how to tow a tire diver, you're going to learn how to release some cramps, you're going to learn how to send out a safety marker boy, safety sausage, and so on and so forth. So there's plenty of skills to do, this is going to be a big day, so make sure to sleep well, do not drink alcohol beforehand, because trust me, there is nothing worse than being hungover going diving. I have seen many of my students come to classes hungover and they just, they don't enjoy it. So please be well rested, well hydrated, um, and ready for the day. After you have completed your pool session, woo, you have completed basically all the most uncomfortable aspects. Now you're going to be heading over to the ocean. Now it depends of course where you are doing your courses. This might be um, uh, on some really beautiful shallow reef, it might be in a river, it might be in a lake. Either way, if you're doing it in um, the ocean, just keep in mind you are going into salt water, which from your theory you're going to know is more dense than normal fresh water. So if you did your pool session in a pool and then you're going to the ocean for your open water, all of a sudden you're going to be more buoyant in the ocean. So this means you're going to have to add an extra weight and get down ready to go underwater. Now the open water part of the course um, is going to be a little different from your pool session. Pool session you're sitting at around 2 meters depth max, while in the ocean you're going to be starting off at around 8-10 meters and then progressing to your 18 meters. Woo! So during that 8-10 meters, all of a sudden you have a lot more water up above you. So it's even more important to be clear in terms of your communications with your instructor and if you're feeling a little uncertain let them know with enough time so they can reassure you and tell you everything's okay. 
it's going to be a little bit different as well because there might be some swell there might be some waves pushing you side to side on the surface it could be a little bit choppy the boat might get you seasick so top tip take seasickness medication I don't care if you never ever 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 been seasick take it there's nothing worse than being seasick on your first day of open water training because it just ruins your entire day it just ruins your desire to want to go into the water it just it ruins it so take seasickness medication please please okay I've you know I've even had like customers almost vomit on me because I had to put their fins on because they were so seasick. Just do it, please. That'd be great. So yeah, the ocean, more buoyant, more movement. You're going to be deeper. So there are um, many more things to consider. However, remember you already practiced all the skills in the pool. So by the time you're in the ocean, you should be comfortable. Also remember, water is salty, meaning it stings. So when you do take off that mask, Keep those eyes shut if your eyes are sensitive to salt water. I, for example, always keep my eyes shut no matter how long I've been diving because if I get any salt water in my eyes, I'll cry for the next 20 minutes um, and can't see my students. So I keep them very tightly shut. After you do um, the couple of the skills, your instructor is going to let you know which ones, you are going to have time to explore. This is the most exciting part and usually if you have any apprehensions or fears, this is where they poof, just go away because you're going to be diving amongst coral, you're going to be diving amongst fish, you might be seeing manta rays, sharks, I don't know what, very exciting. So it depends of course where you are doing your open water course, but wherever you are you will find plenty of beautiful things to see. As a first time person in the underwater alien world, take your time, have a look at the really small things, have a look at how fish relate to each other, how the crabs scamper across the bottom, how the sea cucumbers are munching on sand and they're the filters of the sea. There's just so many exciting, fascinating things to look at. So you're going to have four dives of this in the open water. Typically this is done over two days, so two dives one day, two dives the next day. So after that, you are a certified diver. So welcome to the ranks. That is kind of what to expect from your first level diving course. You have um, a day of theory. There's a lot of theory to get through. Very important to pay attention. Then you have confined water time. So in a pool or very shallow kind of secluded area where there's no waves or anything like that. And then you have your open water session where there's four dives by the end. And you're going to know how to navigate, you're going to know how to keep your buoyancy well, how to communicate underwater, and all of that. So remember, if you are still not comfortable enough to go diving just with your buddy after uh, completing the first level of diving, highly recommend progressing onto the advanced open water course because this gives you five more dives with a certified instructor like me, which will just ensure you are extra comfortable and ready to start diving with just your buddy.